Hey, you. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Claw Gaming here, bringing another Red Online video. And in today's video, I want to be giving you guys my uh, playthrough, or my, not my playthrough, how I would go from um, a complete beginner to where I am now as fast as uh, possible. So I want to give it to you guys pretty much plain and simply uh, the, the way that I would go and basically just go from there. So first off, you're going to start with the first mission. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do daily challenges and the uh, original storyline missions. This will get you gold. Do not spend the gold until you have 15. You can then buy the bounty hunter roll. With the Bounty Hunter roll, you're going to get more gold and more money. Through this, um, and the money that you've already gotten, you're going to want to get, uh, you can get more than this, but you're going to want to basically get the fundamental two things. A better horse, I suggest a red chestnut, it's $200, but it is way better than the horse that you'll have at the beginning. And the, um, either the bolt action, or the Litchfield, um, just... As long as you don't have the carbide repeater, um, because it's terrible. Um, after after you do this, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to keep grinding gold. Uh, you can also, by the way, you can get. I would recommend getting a uh, pump action shotgun, but you can also get pistols and um, buy the offhand holster to get uh, dual wield. Um, that'll come throughout the. Um, thing which I will suggest uh, how to get it later but you can do that now it'll just be a little harder what you're gonna do is you're gonna grind gold up and you're gonna get the collector roll this is where I was talking about it will come in later you want to get the collector roll you want to level it up um, just go for flowers basically um, and level it up and get money until you can afford the shovel and the uh, metal detector, that's why I'm saying level up, is because you have to be a certain level. I believe it's level. It's either level 5 or level 10. I'm pretty sure it's level 10 to get the metal detector. Um, so you want to level the, uh, the um, collector until you get that. And then once you have the metal detector, you want to go for. Uh, you want to go for. I forgot the name of it. Sorry. I'm running a blank right now. You want to go for coins, and you want to go for uh, jewelry. Um, I just think it's the best jewelry. It's three hundred and seventy-eight dollars, I believe. I think it's necklaces. I can't remember right now off the top of my head. Um, but you want to go for those two, um, and you can easily get those two in one day. You can probably get all of the coins in less than an hour if you manage your time right. Um, but you can probably get coins, um, antique bottles, and um, jewelry pretty easily um, within the day. Um, also, if you want to get money while you're leveling up the collector roll, go for antique bottles. Um, I didn't mention that because right now I'm just talking about leveling up to get the most profit. But if you want to go for antique bottles too, that's another $160 on top of the profit that you're going to be making from the flowers. And the XP they're gonna make, be making for it, so that's really good. Um, when you have, uh, when you've sold a full set of coins, a full set of antique bottles, and a full set of the best jewelry, you will have a thousand dollars. You can then buy. Um, I, uh, you can either buy one better horse, or if you haven't yet, you can get better weapons. Um, you probably can't buy a full set of better weapons. Um, but you can buy better weapons. So, um, you're still going to be wanting to... So, once you've gotten the money that you need to get the better stuff, I would not re I would recommend still be, still be doing daily challenges because streaks are really good. Um, once you get a multiple week streak, you get uh, 0.50 per daily challenge, which is a lot. Um, and then once you get a 20-day streak, you get... 0.50 in a treasure map, so, or not a 20 day, a 28 day, so that's a four week streak, you get a treasure map, um, for this one, you get, 
uh, 2.5. So for this one, you get uh, 50, I believe. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's 50. So that would be 0.4, and that would be, yeah, that would be 50. So uh, continue doing daily challenges throughout this whole thing to get 0.50 gold um, for the entire time. But if you can't do daily challenges for some reason, maybe you don't play every day or something like that, just do bounties because two bounties is equivalent to um, a point, point fifty gold if you wait, um, wait for the three minute mark um, to get the most profit, then it will be worth point thirty six gold, and then you can just multiply it by two and get point six. Um, so now you're gonna while you're doing this again you're gonna while you're doing collector again you're gonna be wanting to do bounty hunting and daily challenges how to get the most gold because you are then going to uh save up for what i'm in front of right now and what i've been running around the moon shiner shack um moon shiner shack i believe is the uh second best way to make money i guess you could say um but the second best with the least amount of effort um because with the trader, you can get the most money, um, but it takes a long time. I believe it takes six hours for $625 after you buy all the upgrades, uh, which is two delivery wagons and the hunting wagon, which is well over, which is almost $2,000 total, um, plus the gold, um, but um, you can get $625 after like six hours. Moonshine, however, you get two hundred six dollars in one hour, so three hours or more than you, you have the same amount of profit uh, in six hours, which is the same amount of time. You doubled it um, for for all of the upgrades. Um, each upgrade, I think, is two hundred dollars. I'll have to I can check right now, um, but each upgrade uh, for now is two hundred dollars. Um, so you're gonna save up and do that. Uh, if you want to make the most profit along with it, you're also going to be doing collector. So maybe you'll start it up, and then you'll do collector to get money. But you're also going to be doing bounty hunter in there. So what I usually do, if I'm like in major grind mode, trying to get gold, trying to get money, trying to get everything, I'll do moonshiner, and I'll do bounty hunter. And while I'm hunting a bounty, I'll do collector. And I'll go back, I'll do another bounty, and probably want to do this with friends so that they can turn it in and then you'll let them collect and you'll turn it in and everything like that um, but you're gonna do bounty hunting and then w one of you guys is gonna wait at the office and then you're gonna go ahead and go around and collect and they can turn it in and you can keep collecting and then you're gonna keep going uh, start it and then go back and after an hour you're gonna come back here okay so um, the last one is optional. I would say for the most amount of money, you want to get the trader and level her up and uh, pay for everything like that. Um, if you want the most amount of money um, and you plan on playing, pay and you plan on playing six-hour days at least. Um, but I personally don't use it just because it's six hours. Plus, you have to get the supplies for it. Plus, you have to buy. The, uh, multiple hundred dollars or uh, almost multiple thousand dollars worth of upgrades and then everything else like that so I don't really use it here this is 875 and that is okay so total it's a thousand six hundred but at the same time you make one way more than traders so um and it's about the same amount as traders so um but yeah so uh, I'm gonna do a really quick rundown now. Um, do daily challenges in, and uh, stranger missions to get bounty. Then do daily challenges and bounty so that you can get money and gold. Uh, once you have enough gold, buy the collector. Grind uh, the collector and the bounty. I recommend, like I said earlier. Um, however, it's a variation. Don't do the moonshiners. Um, uh, since you don't have it, just do bounty and then grind collections and switch and then you'll do the bounty and then your friend will grind collections uh, I'll leave a map down below for a collector uh, map um, sh basically shows you every cycle where all of the collections are and everything like that um, once you have both of those once you have enough money I 
and you've leveled up, you get a collector enough, buy the shovel and the metal detector. After you have both of those, you're gonna want to grind coins and jewelry, and if you want to, you can grind um, antique bottles, and then you're going to be, um, and then you're going to go ahead and buy any of the weapons that you want. Uh, I'd suggest not going for cosmetics like I have. I just did this to show you guys how much of a waste of gold cosmetics is, especially for the gun, which costs gold um, to put the gold plating on and any other plating on. Anyway, um, once you have enough money for that, go ahead and buy all the guns that you want. Um, then you're gonna want to do Moonshiner. Once you've leveled up Moonshiner um, to the max level, I suggest buying the horse that I'm on now, the Norfolk Roaster. It's a thousand dollars, but it is the best horse in the game right now. Um, and if you want the trader, you can also get that too. Um, I don't use it personally. Uh, as you can see, it's only level, uh, as you saw, it's only level seven, but you can buy it, use it, level it up, and get all the money for it. Um, if you want to do that, I have the fastest level up method down below. Um, or not down below, but on my channel, I'll probably put it in the end card here. But, um, I think that's really it, guys. Um, so basically, grind gold until you can get the collector, grind um, money with the collector, and gold with the bounty hunter, and dig the challenges. Then get Moonshiner for more money, and keep grinding gold, and then get Trader if you want a little surplus, um, which I would not recommend, because it uh, kind of slows down the momentum in my experience, because if it says, oh, you're out of supplies, well, you have to go back and get the supplies, so, um, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, please do like, if you didn't like it, tell me why down in the description below, uh, what changes would you make to what my strategy was, and what I'm, uh, suggesting that you do as well, um, if you really liked it, please do subscribe, or if you're kind of on the fence, please do look at a different video, um, maybe the one that I have below, I upload daily regular online videos, whether it's having fun, grinding, or tips for you guys, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy, and uh, follow my social medias down below if you want to be uh, notified when I'm about to post. Uh, my mixer is mixer.com slash cloud gaming if you want to see um, the videos that I post on YouTube early because I live streamed them before. And bye.